What's up everybody, it's your boy PTK Blam back in the building with another weekly video. How is everybody doing? I know that's kind of a rhetorical question, but I hope everybody out there staying inside as much as they can, staying safe out there as best as you possibly can during these trying times. I know it's stressful on a lot of us, but do the best you can. Play as many videos as you can. Tackle that video game, sorry. Watch as much YouTube as you can. Tackle that backlog. Shout out to everybody out there who can't sit at home. Everybody on the front line, first responders, nurses, people that have to be out, you know, essentially risking their health to take care of all of us and make sure things stay as smoothly as possible. As well as shout out to everybody. You watching the video right now, everybody coming out, checking out the podcast. 2020 has been a great year for the shop podcast. We're going to kind of try and keep that, con that con continued energy, keep things going to the best of our ability. Now, I know you're looking at the thumbnail right now like, Blam, what are you talking about? This information came out about a week or so ago, but I did not really get a chance to cover that. We did not have a show last week due to an emergency, a personal emergency of mine. So we didn't get a re really get a chance during the week to break it down. But we will on the show, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about what I thought and give you guys my two cents about the Sony event, if you could even call it that, essentially. So I don't want this to come off as a bashing Sony video because it's not what we're here about. We're, I'm here to give my opinion about what I thought about what Sony presented during the day, or that day, essentially. So the first thing I thought when, obviously, we got the information that Sony was doing, was going to do this event the day after Xbox had put out their breakdown in their spec video about what's going to be in the Xbox Series X. I'm thinking, okay, this is Sony doing what it normally does. Xbox come out, Sony drops something right after essentially one-upping Xbox. I, I assume a lot of us were under the same impression. Sony must have a lot of shit to talk about. This is going to be big. This is going to be crazy. Now, what we got was still great. It was some great information, a lot to dig through extremely technical and i understand there's a large contingency of people out there like well it was g it was for gdc so why is everybody overreacting you know this is for developers we get that but sony has not had an event and or a show in about a year and a half this is what you put out after not having anything to show in about 18 months if this is the type of if this is the way sony's gonna go about getting the attention and or the type of hype this is not the way to go about it and that's my general opinion and i'm going to elaborate on that as i go through this video and talk about a couple quick points one being mark cerny mark cerny is an extremely extremely intelligent individual i will not tell that man how to do his job but it was like a college lecture and i get it once again let's re let's reiterate I understand this was for developers. This was supposed to be a GDC. Normally, this wouldn't have been something that they would have put out just to the mass consumer and their fan base. But when you put out a tweet saying, this is what we're going to show you guys and get the fan base excited about it, you have to bring something a little bit more exciting. There was no excitement at all. It was a seminar, a lecture, so to speak. And a lot of people feel that way. Once again, I get what it was for. I get the attended audience. But come on now. If you haven't had an event in that period of time, you got to get your audience or your fan base excited about what you're doing. The other thing is he spent a lot of time on SSD as well as audio. He spent, I'd say, roughly about 60% of the time he was talking just explaining SSD and what it is, how it works. Now, I get this is one of the big things people have touted coming out of that or coming you know, out of that information about the, the um, build of Sony's SSD and some of the things that it's doing, which is fantastic, and I understand that. But the fact that you spent about 20 to 30 minutes just breaking down an SSD, I felt like the pacing, it was super monotone. The fact that you spent a lot of time on an SSD, it was not necessary. We are gamers. Most of us at this point do understand what an SSD is for, how the benefits of having an SSD in these new systems. Now, obviously, the more technical stuff and how Sony's SSD differentiates from a normal one is awesome. But once again... If you're, if this is gonna, if if this is the best foot forward, and this is the first thing people are gonna see as far as an event and or a show about the PS5, I just don't think this is the way to go about it. Now, after, like I said, I was talking about the space you audio as well. You spent a lot of time on that. Now, after sitting and kind of thinking about it, I actually rewatched some of it to kind of get a general idea and see maybe if I was just, you know, overblowing it. The pacing. Like I said, it was extremely monotone. It's not something to really get people excited about. This is something that I thought Sony could have done without. 
Sony could have essentially put a tweet out about this, put a separate video about this saying, hey, this is some GDC information. This is a quick teardown. Now, they did say that this is going to be more dev oriented. They did say that in a tweet. But at the end of the day, when your fan base hasn't had anything, an event, a state of play or anything in 18 months, they're going to be looking at this like, OK, this is what Sony's going to show us. We're super excited. We need some information. They didn't show the box. They didn't show a game demonstrating some of the things that Sony does, that some of the things that the system actually is capable of. Had you just shown maybe a quick demo, maybe took 15, 20 minutes, I think that would extremely, that would have helped the, the show extremely a lot better, essentially. Because I, I think if you if you talk about those things in that kind of a setting without showing an example, a lot of gamers are visual. We need to see how this is going to better our experience in this video game space, and they just did not provide that for a lot of Sony gamers. Now, once again, as an Xbox fan myself, I play on everything. I don't own everything, but I do play on everything. I have friends that have PS4. I don't own a PS4, but I do play on it. I have no bias in that sense. But if you want to get people excited about the product, you got to at least show people a controller or anything. We didn't, outside of the logo, they didn't really show anything. And now, once again, these consoles are coming out this year. Matter of fact, there was a tweet today. They just reiterated Sony and Xbox said, yeah, we're still targeting holiday. Now, obviously, with everything going on in the world that's tentative but they're still targeting holiday holiday is about four months away five months away technically so you don't have a whole lot of time so obviously i'm assuming there's going to be another sony event there's going to be something you know sony does to show the console game things like that and i'm completely aware of that but this event i think sony could have done without or you know not not necessarily hyping it up to be what it what it wasn't because it was it gave a lot of great in-depth information for people that like that but at the end of the day to get the fan base excited i just don't think this was the way to go about it whether you agree with me or disagree leave a like on the video guys let me know what you think in the comment section at all once again not necessarily bashing sony just think that this could have been a little bit better especially being that this is the first idea what people are getting about the ps5 uh going forward so once again leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel appreciate you guys shop podcast live tomorrow Got an awesome guest on tomorrow. Follow us on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter as well to keep everything on lock, you know, to, to stay aware of what's going on here. I know YouTube has been having a lot of problems, so stay locked on my Twitter to make sure everything is going well there. I appreciate you guys. Peace out.